Hello everybody, I'm going to be making a short video about Canada's landform regions. Canada has seven landform regions, which are the Canadian Shield, Interior Plains, Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Lowlands, the Hudson Bay Lowlands, the Arctic Lowlands, the Appalachian Mountains, and the Western Cordillera. But for this video, I'm going to be combining the Hudson Bay and Arctic Lowlands because they have similar physical qualities and climates. First is the Canadian Shield. The Canadian Shield covers Quebec, Nunavut, Manitoba, and Ontario, and some parts of northern Saskatchewan and the Northwest Territories. The Canadian Shield is rich in minerals with large deposits of nickel, silver, copper, and gold. It is very good for tourism and recreation. The Canadian Shield is mainly composed of rocks and plateaus, it contains many rounded hills of rocks. It has been eroded for many years, so it is a lot flatter and rounder than developing mountains such as mountains within the Appalachian Mountains. Next is the Interior Plains. The Interior Plains mostly covers Northwest Territories and Alberta, parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba, a bit of the U.S. Um, I mean, a bit of the Yukon Territories and British Columbia. Many minerals exist in the layers of the Canadian Shield. Agricultural products, for example wheat and beef, are the main exports from the plains. Lots of wheat is grown and cattle are raised here. Even though the interior plains are assumed to be flat, they are not actually as flat as they are seen, as they have many different levels within them. The plains consist of various rolling hills and wide deep river valleys. The plains are rural as they are an area with a lot of agricultural aspects. Next is the Great Lakes St. Lawrence um, Lowlands. The Great Lakes St. Lawrence Lowlands are located in southern Quebec and Ontario. Their name comes from the five Great Lakes which are within them, which are Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Lake Ontario. Flat land is ideal for transportation and construction, which is why and transportation and construction is very common here. Also, half of Canada's population lives here because of the flat landscape. The St. Lawrence lowlands have many glacial hills and deep valley rivers, is characterized by its spacious, spacious flat plains. Next is the Hudson Bay Arctic lowlands. The Hudson Bay Arctic lowlands are located in northern Ontario, northeastern Manitoba, and a bit of southeastern Quebec, as well as a bit of eastern Nunavut. The sedimentary rock from the lowlands contains lignite, oil, and natural gas deposits. The Hudson Bay lowlands have a gentle rolling landscape. One of the main features of the lowlands is that it contains many lakes and ponds. The temperatures here is usually very cold and harsh. Next is the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian Mountains are located in southwestern Quebec and southern Newfoundland and Labrador. Some of the bays here have become major cities. The peaks of the Appalachian Mountains used to be jagged and sharp, but now have been brought down to dull, rounded peaks, rolling mountains and hills during, due to erosion. The hills and mountains are separated by wide glacial valleys caused by the last ice age. And last but not least, we have Western Cordillera. The Western Cordillera covers Western Canada, specifically the Northwest Territories, British Columbia, and some of Alberta. Tourism thrives in, town, in mountain towns like Banff and Jasper. The reason many tourists want to come here is because of the beautiful scenery, scenery and the remaining glaciers of Canada are located in the Cordillera. The Western Cordillera is characterized by its range of numerous mountains, which are separated by many plateaus and valleys. The mountains are very tall in height and have a rough appearance, which means they are geographically young and have still have to develop a lot. Okay, thank you for listening. That was my video about the seven landforms of Canada. Seven landform regions.